So I don't know about you guys, but while I was growing up until this day, I've always had these fantasies of meeting other girls and growing up when you're younger or when I was younger, it was more on some like really corny kind of, you know, movie type of things that you see on Netflix on these really cute lesbian scenarios and I would like sit in my room or like, you know, just be on the train and have all these really cute scenarios of like, oh man, I wish I could meet a girl in this form or this fashion. And usually a lot of these fantasies looked like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you also reaching for that mentally stimulating, intellectually challenging book? I'm so sorry. It's just that I love reading books that make my brain pulse and make me think about my future. Me too. Yeah, I'm here like every other day, just, you know, buying books. Not for school, just to read on my own. You must have really good taste in books. What's your name? My name is your future girlfriend and, you know, I just like hanging out here and being gay and single, as usual. So am I. Do you want to like get a coffee and then probably go out and talk about books and then have book dates and probably write poetry to each other and then maybe we can get in a relationship and maybe get married someday? I would love to. Let's go right now. Ah, sweet, sweet fantasies. And it's funny because usually mostly in your fantasies, like you're always smooth as hell. Nothing ever goes wrong. The girl loves you, no rejection. None of that, none of that doesn't exist. It's always well done. But now since I'm older, I'm starting to have these more stranger fantasies. They're not cute anymore. They're not bumping hands into bookstores or, you know, you hit each other on the way to class and then your books fall down and you guys pick each other up and stare into each other's eyes and live forever or like you're a lifeguard, they're a lifeguard and you're drowning and they save you. It's none of that anymore. Now it's just like random stuff, like stuff that like happens and definitely not gonna happen. Like, like here's, Here's one of them. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, how can I help you? Hey, I'm part of the Census Bureau and I'm just here to ask about a few questions about your neighbor. My neighbors? No, I don't know anything about them, but I'd love to get to know you. You're really pretty. Oh. Yeah, I'd like to get to know you too. There's a coffee shop right across the street. Um, would you be down to go if you're done with work? Or maybe you can get my number and we can, you know, hang out sometime. I would love that. I'm actually on my break right now if you'd want to go right now. Awesome, wow. This is perfect, yeah. Now, I don't know if I'm getting lazy at dating, but it seems like my fantasies are getting lazier as time goes by. First, the senses where literally a woman comes to my door and knocks on it. I have nothing to do. Well, literally, I just have to open the door. And then there's the offer up fantasy. Where, I don't know if you guys know, there's an app called Offer Up where you sell things because I'm moving to Texas. If you guys haven't seen on my last video, I'm getting out of here. So I've been selling a lot of things on this app called Offer Up. And basically you can sell things that you don't need anymore. You meet up with somebody in public and then you do your transaction and basically, you know, you, you sell stuff. Um, usually you meet up, they give you the money and then they leave really quickly. But my new fantasies have now turned this selling app into a dating app. Thanks for meeting me. Wow, you're really pretty. Thanks for meeting me up too. You're quite the beauty yourself. So you are here to buy my skateboard? Yeah. And my motorcycle helmet? Yeah. And my nunchucks? Yeah, I came for those too. And my rainbow flag? Yep. I'm sorry, is this all for you? Yeah. It is. Do you want to get married? Yes. Personally, I would love to meet, I love meeting people in the most strangest of ways. Um, unfortunately, most of the people I've dated, I've met on applications or while I was doing things outside of the home. But I think meeting people in really random, strange ways 
is fun because you get to tell the story of how you met and how you created your bond and your relationship whether it's a friend or a lover or whatnot and uh, these little fantasies that continue you know being prickling my brain um are ways that i think that would, would be actually fun to me instead of just like yeah tinder and yeah bumble and yeah you know just like the regular boring stuff i would love to have something really really crazy happen so if you guys have met your lover or met you know a friend in the most weirdest ways what are those ways like do you guys have fantasies where am i just the only weirdo that lays in her bed and thinks about all this shit because i have nothing else to do um let me know in the comments below what's the weirdest way you ever met somebody or what's the cutest and most romantic way that you would like to meet somebody i would love to see that below if you guys like this video make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you comment and i will see you ladies when i get to texas